All right, bit of news. Julio's heard that Zamora's back on the scene and up the training for the Blade Cup. Man, look at this nifty manoeuvre. A perfect flow of energy through the entire body. The veterans division at Blade Cup is going to be something else. Also, Haffy's launched a few more off the Megaram, and Aragon's posted up some deals as well. Aragorn, son of Arathorn. People of rollerblading. Nature. Everybody wants a taste of the action. This might actually develop into like a new little section of the news. Look who's back. Billy's still got plenty of mad dog left in him. I imagine Bellino was egging him on as well. Billy's come out like, yeah, you know, just have a few tricks here and there, you know, take it easy and that. Bellino's like, oh, have you seen that? That roof looks pretty interesting, doesn't it? Oh, I think maybe you could uh, do a grind on that or something. You know, yeah, do you fancy it, Billy? Come on, go on, get out there, mate. I've got my camera and I've just gone. Give it a go, Billy. He's like, yeah, yeah, quick guy like, man. Also, whose gap is that? Going around just doing tricks off random people's roofs, like. Fair enough. Consume. The muzzle sight's back up, and it is absolutely chock-a-block full of stuff. You've got the wheels in there, you've got solar frames set up, you can even get the them skate street frames with either the 56 or 59 millimeters. You've got the 3M logo sweater, you've got the denim arrow shirt in black with the arrows on the back, the muzzle just like slipping into the pocket there. I'm fairly keen on the double denim and all varieties as well. You've got the double indigo, maybe just the indigo jeans and a black denim shirt, double black, or even the indigo shirt and black jeans, mate. All of them work, and if you're prone to a little bit of a tumble as well, they offer a decent level of protection. It's like a modern day chain mail. You don't have to look like a complete toe rag when you're out skating. That filthy piece of toe rag. You can look smart. Get that shirt, man. That's ready for like Holy Communion in the morning, skating in the afternoon, and meeting your partner's parents in the evening. All oh, same shirt. Don't even need to change. Perfect. You've also got the fabric floor zip up. You've got the slacker trousers V2. And these were actually locally designed, locally sourced and locally stitched. Made in Norwich. Back of the net. There is no better indicator that an activity is doing well than boxers. If that activity is selling boxer shorts, if there is branded boxer shorts merch, that means it's healthy or at least on the way back. There's also a limited edition tee and a book. Give John Lee a tinkle, see if you can grab one of those before they go. This is all in celebration of the latest flick, The Adventures of Mr. Moose Muzzle. <laughs> More about that in a bit. Basement, I've got a ruck of new gear. The logo kind of reminds me of the Windows 95 logo a little bit, actually. They've got beanies on there. They've got the valleys. They've got the hats, t-shirts, long sleeves. They've got a bag. They've got hoodies. The beanies are adorned with the Wrigley's double mint inspired logo. Oh, does anybody remember those paper mints? Flipping heck, man. Those things were lethal. The second they made contact with your tongue, they were just like burying themselves in. Really intense mint. And it released all these like mint fumes, man. You can knock somebody out with them. They've also gone to absolute town on the Philly boy jersey. That is some piece of kit. It's a professional quality game jersey. Tactical dry technology, man. They've got everything going on on this thing. These have also got an edit. Again, we'll talk about that in a bit. Three icon boots have gone up for pre-order. So you've got the AG-10, AG-20 and TR-10 and these are all at like the top end of the market. They've gone for the high spec stuff. I'm assuming they're like market research has shown that like you know, people really want to spend the money on getting these like super NASA quality rollerblades. I am totally into how they are describing their own boots mate. Nothing more important than self-worth. To describe my personality, I'd say good looking with a great haircut. Get an absolute earful of this. This is the opening line. Icon's premier aggressive skate, the AG-10, is a masterpiece. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't knock it though. I like, I like that confidence, man. That's what I'm like when I like cook dinner. I am like, that is absolutely sensational. Who's, who's dishing out these Michelin stars, mate? Guess them round for this. <laughs> Masterpiece. That was just line one. Line two. Engineered with a lightweight and nearly indestructible. I would love to see how they, like, tested that. Nearly indestructible. What are they, what, how are they testing this thing? Just booting it around the warehouse, like, hitting it with hammers, throwing off buildings. Probably trying to blow it up. You, that, that always happens when you're testing things, eh? I actually love this description. Anyway, where was I? A nearly indestructible carbon shell that's reinforced with Kevlar. Kevlar? 
You can use that in like stab vest and stuff like that. Crikey. Why do you think these people are skating? That's, un that's unreal. And completely heat moldable. The Skates Carbon Cuff, a first for aggressive skates, delivers unmatched support and control, while the new Prime Liner from MyFit further improves comfort, even during the most intense skating sessions. What's more intense, those paper mints or your skating sessions? For me, probably those paper mints. I don't think my skating ever gets that intense really, not anymore. But there will be people out there who do get intense. And these skates sound like they're for you. There's more. The skate is made of only the highest quality materials, so they are also eco-friendly, that's good, with a goal of offering a sustainable manufactured skate without compromising on quality of performance. That's good. You're going to love grinding on the Icon A10. Woo! <laughs> Another claim, I like it. Its sole plate is a legendary one. Leg <laughs> Legendary soul plates, mate. Oh, that's a claim. Made of nylon and glass fiber, making it slide faster and longer than other skates out there. Also for your 599 euros and 99 cent, you get an extra buckle and an extra side protector. As a bonus as well, it's individual sizes, which is what people are always asking for. If you missed out on getting your dirty mitts on a pair of John Bellino Mesmers, there is a second batch coming out soon, so you can pre-order from Monday. Get in there quick, would be my advice. Watch. The Adventures of Mr. Moose Muzzle. Muzzle have dropped a new piece, title inspired by the 1996 classic, The Adventures of Mr. Moose Knuckle. And man, this is such a good flick. Starring Connor Pierce, Neil Ingle, James Bauer, Fabian Gale, and a ruck of other people filmed and edited by John Lee. Also, there was like a, a load of additional filmers as well, including Joe Spray. Man, it is such a good feeling, this video. Like, unbelievable. It kind of like feels like watching Mr. Moose Knuckle. Like, there's that sense of like, I don't know, like raw energy, loads and loads of fun. There's like obviously great skating in there, but what one thing I really think it captures well and which is something I think you just don't see that often in rollerblading at the moment, and especially and in the past as well actually, maybe right at the beginning, and then it kind of drifted away and everything got a bit serious, but like on Instagram, right, when you're posting clips, you're just like, it's just a clip, bang. It can be quite soulless. The trick can be amazing, and like, like everybody loves seeing great tricks, but you know, it's a bit soulless, and then some of the edits that come out are just like loads and loads of tricks and that's sick but like there's something missing there's something not being represented there which is like part of what keeps skating going and it's like that camaraderie it's like your pals it's like the atmosphere and like the culture that we've created for ourselves. that's like one of the best things about it and it is quite rare to see that captured and especially captured this well. And that's what's so good about this edit. It's like, you really feel like you're out there skating with them. It inspires you to like get out there, not just to like, you know, like go and bag a load of clips, but also to have like an absolutely brilliant time with the people that you're skating with. I mean, there's bits where like, you know, Joe Atkinson's just like cruising through the streets it all looks supernatural, off the cuff, it looks fun. And there's a bit where he just stops because he's like, eyes the beers have come back. And it's like moments like that that are absolutely brilliant that might, you know, might get cut from something else. So you wouldn't even think to go, all right, let's just start a line here and let's just like power through, see where we get to. You get a better sense of like the skater, you get a better sense of like the area of London or wherever they were filming at the time. Cause it is like, there's a lot of London, but there's bits from other places as well. Man, Connor, Connor Pierce comes out swinging for his first like full proper section. Fabian Gow's in there doing loads of creative and nifty manoeuvres. Neil Ingalls an absolute wizard on the uh, rollerblades. Love seeing him skate. And James Bauer, man, mate, he's a powerhouse. And he seems he's also very casual about some of the stunts that he does. Some ludicrous like drops and stuff like that, mate. It is definitely worth having a watch. And man, what an absolutely brilliant premiere as well. Shout out to Michael O'Brien, Five Points Brewery, for like getting that all sorted. John Lee for putting it on. Man, what an event, like it was great seeing everybody. Amazing atmosphere, like an atmosphere kind of similar that, or like matching the actual video itself. Just like heartwarming, inspiring, and great to see everybody like 
It's brilliant. You should definitely go and see it. You've got to go over to the Muzzle site. That's the best place to go and watch the thing. Pick up a few pieces of kit as well while you're there. Support Muzzle Man. Alex Burston skating and style is absolutely timeless. It's all good and well being like a skater who's got all the tricks, but mate, have you got the style like this? It's unbelievable. Just makes stuff look so freaking good. And it's really him as well. Like, you know straight away that it's him. And how amazing is that to have a style that's like instantly recognizable? That is some level of skating that's beyond just being absolutely brilliant with the tricks and having all the maneuvers. And fair play to him for getting out. It wasn't the easiest ride being able to do this thing. Get over there, read the description to find out more. And man, like, such a good edit. Bags of style, really banging tricks, creative as well. He's doing like the Royale to the alley oop top sole. It's so awkward and so good, man. All praise to Alex Burston, man. This one's an absolute banger. Parallel Collective posted up Tannery, so it's them skating the Tannery DIY. You've got Gav Drum in there, you've got Andy Plumridge, you've got Jared Thackeray, you've got Josh Clark. Man, it is amazing to see like Gav Drum navigate that kind of setup. That's like the mark of a good skater, isn't it? Not only have they got like amazing tricks, but they can handle like all terrain, look confident and like utilize it to absolute perfection. Some amazing skating from everybody in there. Starts off really cool as well. Loads of like grind to like toe roll variations, which obviously I absolutely love. Go and check this one out, man. Go over there also and get onto the uh, GoFundMe so you can keep the uh, tannery DIY going. Also, DIYs are the absolute one. They just feel like closer to what is the essence of like rollerblading and being a little bit like raucous and raw. More DIYs. Basement are posted up, the Nick Danchuk edit. Man, he is a powerful skater, rowdy as well. He skates some of the roughest spots I've ever seen. There's one thing where he's like skating a block of concrete, formerly known as a stair set. It's definitely not stairs anymore, man, but he still manages to stair ride it. Very impressive. It's like unbelievable that you can like even roll on half of these things, let alone get tricks out of them. It's really cool, man. It's like a, there's a contrast between like his skating, which is like powerful and rowdy compared to this quite mellow tune. And it's nice, man. It's a nice convergence. Definitely go and check this one out. Sasha Lopez introduces the icon Ag10. Man, what a super stylish skater. Filmed a few bits down at his local. Man, he can handle a Sessler. He's such a wizard at it as well. Go and check him out, man. Bags of creativity, loads of style does a decent job of promoting these skates, that's for sure. Listen. Legendary style master Louis Zamora was up on the Jump Street podcast this week, and man, this was a really good one. They talk about VG14, he talks about starting Deshi, talks about his recent return to rollerblading and how he's appreciative of all the support that he's been getting. He's also very like open and honest about like the lows that he's been through in his life and like coming back from that. And that's a definitely a, a really hard thing to do so shout out to Louie for being so open and like sharing those stories and like all the best on this journey man like nothing but love for coming back and can't wait to see where this goes definitely go and check out this interview there's also a, a little special guest appearance from Randy Spicer as well same haircuts and ask you a lot honestly man massive shout out to all my patreons there's loads of you now so i can't list you all but your name's up there on the screen and man it means the world to me that like you'd help me out keep this thing going if you enjoyed me harping on on this one here's another one you can check out and yeah i'll be back again soon with another video spotty dog <laughs>